What is up guys, welcome to Rojo Gaming and this week I'm looking at the brand new battle pass in Rohala and week one's missions. Uh, Immortal Cross platform, uh, they don't really tell you what it is but um, you basically have to um, load up into a strikeout match or a 1v1 experimental or you can do a 1v1 ranked to get a small uh, blackguard keep and it's the platform on the left of Blackheart Keep. So uh, unfortunately, all the matches that I've done, um, I haven't loaded into that one. Um, sad KOs, simple enough. Um, you basically get KOs with a side weapon. You can use any one of the side legends like Nyx, um, Mirage, Jiro, uh, Modex, Volkov, and whoever else might have a side that I can't remember anyone else off the top of my head. I'm sure this is more. Gauntlet's light attack damage. Um, Wusheng or Zariel or Petra or Caspian, any one of them. Light attack damage, simple enough, straightforward enough. Um, you just deal light attack damage through the matches. Um, and by the way, all of these apply to matchmaking uh, games, not your custom games or your local couch party games. So it's not like you can just tell your friend, hey dude, uh, let's queue up this couch party game and complete all of these challenges. It's got to be a online matchmaking game. Oh, heavy attack. Uh, Petra is awesome for this. Um, Thor is also not bad. You can probably use um, any one of the other um, hope guys like Dusk or you can use Reno can't offhand think of anybody else with orb uh, and that's heavy attack damage if you use the Xbox controller that's the Y button light attack damage is the X button get two keys with dash jumping into ground pound attacks in a match um, kind of confusing haven't done any yet um, I have only been focusing on the uh, initial ones ground pounds are aerial down heavy attacks jump right after dashing to perform a dash jump um, so basically you do a dash which is trigger and then you jump which is a so dash but also dash is um, if you do a, a trigger on its own it's block a dash is like left or right you hold left or you hold right and then you hold your right trigger that does a, ja a dash basically you dash to the left or right as soon as you finish dash, you jump, you press A, and then you do a ground pound attack. And then you need to get a KO by doing the ground pound attack. Now, ground pound attack is pressing down and Y or down and heavy. And the easiest one to do is with a spear. If you've uh, seen Orion or any of the other spear legends um, doing a ground pound with spear, it's basically the helicopter that goes downwards. Um, that's the easiest one to get ground pounds with and it's probably the easiest one to get a KO with especially if you're doing an edge guard somebody's coming back to stage do a dash, dash jump uh, and then ground pound um, so yeah you need three of those to complete this task I haven't been focusing on that as yet obviously get a KO in a 1v1 match before taking 50 total damage so um, the best kind of match for this would be maybe um, strikeout um it's a 1v1 match ranked is going to be much harder experimental you got a lot of sweaty tryhards as well so my recommendation is do an experimental match start off with your best uh, your legend or your main um, and try and get a ko as fast as possible be a bit sweaty in other words before you take 50 total damage so yeah if you do um enough strikeout matches you get a lot more uh, newer players doing strikeout so um, that's probably the easiest way to get this reversal signature cares not straightforward signatures are unique heavy attacks that legends use with each weapon a reversal signature is one that sends an opponent in the opposite direction of your facing when you start the signature attack i think um volkov has a signature that does this in reverse where um, he takes you with your with his um, side and he pulls you from one side to the other so yeah you need to get a ko with that kind of signature 
So that's all of the ones for the first week. Um, battle Pass XP, these general missions are available throughout the Battle Pass. There's four of them. And Battle Pass XP, um, here it basically says play online matchmaking game to earn Battle Pass XP, placing higher, add more Battle Pass, unlock Battle Pass XP multipliers to increase earnings. Get kills with active input versions of attacks. Um, as it says here, it's basically side you hold forward quickly after hitting with a side down light. Um, so it's down light, you expect them to hit down, but if you hold forward, it pushes them forward kind of thing. So um, this has to be done with side. I don't know, and I've Googled this as well. There's no other weapon that has an active input apart from side. Grounded light attack damage. Um, so basically, while you're on the ground, you do, you press X if you have an Xbox controller. Um, I can't remember what it is on keyboard, but yeah, grounded light attack damage. You just basically hit people while you're standing on the ground, not in mid air or anything like that. Um, page two, completionist. There's 168 different missions in these 12 weeks that are coming up you get to level 85 at the end of it and you can still get to level 85 without having done every single one of these missions um, some of them obviously give you more emeralds some of them give you less emeralds but um, yeah you can actually get to the end without completing everyone if you do complete every single one in this battle pass you get the completionist frame that basically says you are op um, so that's basically the week one missions and the general missions uh, for this battle pass. Thank you for watching Roger Gaming guys. Subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Twitch and join my Discord. I give away free stuff from Brahala uh, all the time there. So thanks for watching. Catch me in the next one. As Stanley would say, Excelsior.